6.5 kilometers away from the coast of Alexandria, an Egyptian city, deep-sea divers observed something unusual. We are aware that 71% of the Earth is covered in water, but we have only explored a mere 5% of it. Within the ocean, there are numerous creatures that no human has ever seen, and they hold ancient secrets left behind by the people who lived long ago. Through research and adventurous expeditions, these secrets are gradually being unveiled. In this video, you will discover 10 fascinating things that were discovered by deep-sea divers. Can a river exist within a sea? You may think the answer is no, but in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, deep-sea divers discovered a location where a river flows beneath the water. This river within the sea is caused by a thick layer of hydrogen sulfide under which salt water emerges from a cave. This place is also known as Cenote Angelida. According to scuba divers, Cenote Angelida appears normal when seen from the surface, but as they dive deeper, around 30 feet down, they encounter a scene that seems impossible to believe. In America, the beaches of Florida are very famous. Sometimes, along with the water, seashells, crabs, and other ocean creatures wash up on the beach. However, in October 2012, people on Pompano Beach were astonished when they discovered a massive eye on the seashore. The eye was about the size of both human hands combined and resembled the eye of a gigantic sea monster. Pictures of this eyeball became viral on social media, leading people to believe that the monster whose eye washed up on the beach must be nearby. Due to this alarming discovery, people became hesitant to visit Florida beaches. However, when the eye was sent to the wildlife department and underwent extensive research and experiments, it was determined that the eye did not belong to a giant monster, but rather to a normal swordfish. The eye had been removed by a fisherman and discarded onto the beach. 6.5 kilometers away from the coast of Alexandria, an Egyptian city, deep-sea divers observed something unusual. When the news reached French archaeologist Frank Gaudio, he began researching and made surprising discoveries from this location. They found 64 ships, 700 anchors, a treasure filled with gold, statues that were 16 feet long, broken parts of buildings, and small rocks with unusual writings on them. The ruins they found were scattered underwater for many kilometers, revealing that 2,300 years ago, there was a massive Egyptian city that may have served as the main port city for various economic activities. This entire city is now known as Thonis Heraklion. However, the fate of this ancient Egyptian city, whether it was destroyed by a flood or a tsunami, remains unknown. One kilometer deep in the ocean, there is a species of fish that is considered bad luck to encounter in Japan. This creature is known as the giant oarfish, and it is famous for its unusually long body. The oarfish lives at a depth of one kilometer in the ocean and can reach lengths of over 50 feet. When people see it, they often mistake it for a sea serpent. In Japan, it is believed that sighting the oarfish is a sign of an impending natural disaster. However, scientists believe that this deep-sea creature is forced to come closer to the ocean's surface due to global warming. In the world of underwater sports, exploring the ocean is an exciting experience. However, imagine encountering statues during this adventure. Many kilometers away from West Indies Beach, there is an underwater sculpture park. This park was launched in 2006 and was the brilliant idea of a British artist. But the purpose behind this park is even more fascinating than the park itself. In the ocean, there are many rocks, big and small, where small fish feel safe. However, in areas without these rocks, small fish tend to avoid those places. This park, spanning around 800 square meters, aims to provide shelter for small fish. According to the artist, since the creation of this park, thousands of small fish have made it their home. The park features over 100 unique statues, which create a captivating sight. Since the creation of the world, civilizations throughout history have left many of their secrets hidden beneath the seas. 
Near Italy, deep-sea divers discovered ancient medicines at the bottom of the ocean. These tablets look quite different from today's medicine, but it was time to uncover their chemical composition and their purpose in treating diseases. Through laboratory tests, it was revealed that this medicine was created at least 2,000 years ago. However, the ingredients used in this medicine were even more surprising. It contained starch, pine resin, bee wax, animal and plant fat, and olive oil. According to scientists, this medicine was used to treat eye ailments. The medicine was remarkably well-preserved in a small tin container, and it appeared to have been crafted by hand. In close proximity to the discovery of these medicines, a sunken Roman shipwreck was also found, containing various medical equipment. This leads researchers to believe that there must have been a doctor aboard that Roman ship around 2,000 years ago, indicating a high level of medical knowledge and expertise during that time. The frilled shark is a creature that resides at the bottom of the ocean. It is both fascinating and highly dangerous. Certain parts of the frilled shark resemble a dinosaur, while others resemble a snake. Its mouth is snake-like and contains 300 teeth, all pointing inward. This creature is about 6 feet long and its hunting style resembles that of a snake. It can swiftly swallow prey that is half its own size within seconds. Once something falls into its mouth, it is impossible for it to escape. In 2007, a Japanese fisherman caught this creature for the first time. It was then taken by wildlife experts and placed in a seawater pool, where its video was recorded for the first time. Researchers concluded that this creature normally resides one kilometer beneath the ocean surface but may have come up due to illness or other factors. For those who are not afraid of horror movies, a visit to American Camp Crystal Lake is recommended. At the bottom of this lake, there used to be a famous statue of the serial killer Jason Voorhees from the horror movie franchise Friday the 13th. The statue portrayed Jason with his iconic mask and sword, and its face was positioned upside down to startle divers and evoke fear. The owner of the statue mentioned that he had been diving in the lake for many years and placed the Friday the 13th character there as a prank to surprise other divers. However, according to reports, the statue has now been removed. In the middle of the Micronesia Ocean, researchers discovered various wreckage from World War II, including fighter planes, tanks, cars, and dive bombers. About 80 years ago, during World War II, around 50 Japanese ships and 230 aircraft crashed in the ocean at this location. The depth of the water in this area, being very deep, made it challenging to locate many airplane and shipwrecks until now. Additionally, when planes crash into the ocean, they don't resemble intact planes, making it difficult to identify them as planes rather than just ocean debris. In 2014, a group of scuba divers discovered a gigantic knife in the ocean. It was approximately 6 feet in size. However, these scuba divers have never made it public, so we do not know where the knife is currently located or the reason behind its enormous size. It raises questions about whether humans were much larger in size thousands of years ago, requiring such a massive knife. Please feel free to share your thoughts on this matter in the comments section.